Hello dear students, we have almost 10,000 species of birds around us, including 23 plus orders. Let us have a deeper look into the classification of birds. Of course, we all know the birds are glorified reptiles. So the birds originated from reptiles and even we can call the birds as feathered dinosaurs. So the class birds or aves are broadly divided into two subclasses, Archaeornithis and Neornithis. Archaeornithis by its name suggests that it is a Jurassic period birds. It is represented by the very famous fossil, which is acting as a connecting link between reptile and bird. You can guess and you can see in the image here, it is none other than Archaeopteryx lithographica, which was found from Germany. And this is nowadays considered to be a very uh, questionable organism that whether it belongs to birds or whether it belongs to reptile or it is standing something somewhere somewhere between the birds or reptile let us move further like this plus neornithus includes uh, four super orders odontognathi paleognathi neognathi and impenni the odontognathi uh, includes the Cretaceous fossil birds, that means it is already extinct. And Paleognathae includes the flightless forms, including the ostrich, rhea, cassowary, kiwi, and such sort of things. And the third uh, superorder is Impenne, which includes the diving forms, very marvelous the penguins of southern hemisphere. And the fourth superorder is Neognathae, which is of major concern of today's class, Neognathae or the new birds. Let us move further into the Neognath birds and their orders. Okay, here it is. So this super order Neognathae or we can call it as Carinate. So we have discussed about the salient features of the super order and these are very much different from the paleognath order or flightless bird and uh, while uh, discussing about different orders you may came, uh, come across different sort of beaks and feet you try to remember what sort of beak and what sort of feet it is having those orders you may be going to learn in coming slides here you can see different sort of beaks. So among almost 20 orders are there in this uh, Neognathae, but 16 orders are chosen by University of Calicut for our syllabus, in which six orders we have almost covered. The first one is the Galliformis or the landfalls, which includes uh, normal peasant, patrice, quill, pea fowl, jungle fowl, domestic fowl, turkey, etc. You can see that birds here, they're all called as game birds. Much of them are domesticated also. We have discussed about the features. You can see the Nicobar megapod here. It is an endemic bird of Nicobar Islands. And the example for this Galliformis is Pavocristatus, the popularly known as peafowl. And we have discussed about the features of the peafowl also. And second order was the Anseriformis. We have already discussed about Anseriformis, which includes the waterfowls or water birds, which are very popular water birds like ducks, geese, swans, teals, all coming under this order, Anseriformis. You can see the images. You can see the beautiful image of swans and it's a smell monogamy. It is having a long pair bond. Very beautiful Mandarin deck of China. 
And example for this Zenseri form is, is ANAS. And uh, the peculiarities of ANAS we have discussed al already. And the third order is the Passeriformis or the perching birds, which includes so many, so many, so many songbirds and songless birds. They include crow, mina, sparrow. Crow is there, mina is there, sparrow is there, uh, babbler is there, and oriole is there, tree pie is there, paradise flycatcher, bulbul, bull, and trongo is there. And example for this passeriform form is the Spacer domesticus, the house sparrow. We can see the sexually dimorphic forms here. The very paler one is the female, the right side, and darker shade is the male. Look at the beak. It is having granivorous, granivorous type of beak to peck the grains. And look at the feet. It is having the perching adaptation to perch on the twigs. And the fourth order is Pisciformis. Pisciformis includes woodpeckers and even it includes barbets, honey guides, toucans, etc. We don't have toucans here in India, of course. Look at the feet adaptation of this group. Now, this is a longer tongue of the woodpecker which enables it to pack the uh, pick the caterpillar sort of things or worm sort of things from the bark of the tree. See, you can see the woodpecker here and the token here. Uh, this is a barbet. And this is the honey gate we are mentioning about. And the example for this order is Dinopium, black rump, flame black, flame back. Dinopium bengalensis. And the fifth order we have already covered is Coraciforms, which includes hornbills and kingfishers. Even it includes beaters also. You can see the kingfisher here, the beater here. It is called chestnut uh, head beater. And you can see the Indian roller here, very beautiful bird. Look at the syntactile feet. Two of the toes got fused here. And hoop hoop. It's a very marvelous bird. Of course, the state bird of Kerala, Buzerus bicornis, and Pied Kingfisher, very beautiful bird. So the exa and before telling the example, it is a very special bird which is known as a laughing jackass. It is from Australia and it is Kukabura, the laughing jackass. This is the example of this group, Alcido, this common kingfisher. It's very common to, uh, to us. And six orders, we have already discussed this, Apodiformis, which includes swift and hummingbirds. It's very gregarious uh, birds and insectivorous bird. And very common thing is the swifts. And here you can see the very smallest bird. I mean, the smallest bird of the world. That is bee hummingbird of Cuba, Melisuca helene. And it measures almost 57 millimeter in length and almost weighs 1.6 gram. So look at it. It's how tiny it is. It's very smallest bird. And the example of this group is swift. And uh, this bird, the edible swift, uh, swiftlet, is uh, very much famous. Like um, its nest is used for making some kind of soup, uh, which may enhance our stability and stamina. This is the example of this group. Uh, usually, in your test, it was given like Apodus, but actually the genus name is Apus. It is a common shift, which we can see in the evening time. It's very difficult to uh, sort out it. Feet, look at the feet. You cannot find the feet in this image and you can see the forked tail and it is like, just like, 
the arrow head next order is striggy form is striggy form is uh, which includes owls uh, and we have to explain this order striggy form is the owls which belongs to striggy form is you may be knowing what are the features of owls there are a lot of peculiar features of owls they are nocturnal birds of prey which hunts on small mammals like rodents it is having a strongly hooked beak which is bent downward from base head is very large and the eyes are too very large it is directed forwards forward like binocular vision and upper eyelids shuts over the lower the facial disc is surrounded by a ring of feathers radiating from eyes external ear opening is extremely large and the vision and hearing is very much keen for these birds outer and fourth toes are reversible enabling them to perch with first or second toes behind so it includes mainly the genus bubo and ketupa the greek god of wisdom athena is related to endha kirtendra back ilirunnu 